hello um, make sure this is on this as usual the um, trackball to know if you want to see your light you can turn that on uh, only at least for now and uh, let's start by right clicking sphere so one way we can select polygon to select half of the sphere is to press 3 to or click here and 5 to exit and you can middle click to select now it's very easy to make a mistake so another way is to select the top and here under select we have grow uh, shift up so you can use shift and the up arrow on your keyboard and it's easier to control if you want to flip the polygons so they are shading inside make sure to be in polygon press F so sometime when you bring object from Rhino you might want to do this uh, if not leave it alone uh, now if we go to we are in edges I can click one or press L to get the whole thing or double click if I want to cap it's P uh, now it's really smooth why I'm gonna undo it's because we are in tab so sphere they always come smooth so if I redo it now it would make more sense voila I undo again uh, I go back to object by pressing 5 and here we can actually before giving it thickness let's tweak it a little bit one to be in point middle click to select the point that goes through uh, if you need to deselect control middle click W for moving and control to deselect and now we can go R for scaling and we can do things like this I think I did something not straight here uh, Mr. Gold made a mistake and we can go W again like that now it's nice to also make sure we haven't over done it perfect and uh, there's a little bit of a kink here anyway for the video it should be all right um, five to be in object mode and then we can go thicken click to apply anywhere and move the glue Q to drop now if we go tab this is very smooth so one way we can do add loop both side and click here sometimes it's hard to see yeah so this is one way of doing it uh, another way I'm gonna undo this is just I think it's often easier um, it's to select those two and go B it does the uh, sorry L and B it does the exact same thing if you look it at two one loop here and one loop here but they are very very close so if you drop this with Q tab and if you don't want to do it this way once again you can um, go uh, add loop both sides uh, the only advantage with the add loop is that you can I don't know why it's doing it undo uh, if anything happened with add loop undo right away um, here the only thing good with that loop is that you can fine-tune it but you could do that with the bevel tool too okay uh, so if you go this it'll go this way and you go Q so it does the exact same thing so it's a little bit more round what else was I showing uh, I would go back to uh, untab and you could go like this B you could uh, scale this so it goes in a little bit now you can go R and under Y you can put 0 so that's one way of flattening, flattening B move it you could scale it in a little bit shift click to redo the B shift click again and you can keep on doing this 
this shift click and now I'm going to scale it shift click again Q so now if we tap we have this if you want this to be a bit sharper you can select it uh, you actually can do both at the same time even the top while we're here go L B it's that simple and if you wanted to push this in or even have this even more sharp uh, L B and you could you know push it out push it in uh, and go B again a uh, shift click so anyway you'll get good at this uh, remember uh, you can always grab this scale you can do all you can use the circles you are only doing both ways you can move this down there's a lot of things you can do okay and that's it for this one